Tonight we're going to start with our nearest neighbors. Mercury will be a relatively easy target for the first half of the month and appears low over the western horizon from about 15 minutes after sunset. Mars continues to grow dimly for a few hours after sunset and crosses into Virgo on the 28th where it's joined by a beautiful crescent moon that evening. Saturn and Neptune are observable for a few hours just before the pre-dawn twilight, with the last quarter moon appearing above Saturn on the 16th. As far as Uranus goes, it's edging into the morning sky, and Venus is appearing within the same 10 by 50 binocular field of view for the first nine days of the month. The pair will be closest on the 4th, but spotting Uranus will mean rising about 90 minutes before dawn while the sky is still relatively dark. Jupiter should also be visible from mid-month onwards low in the north-northeast. A waning crescent moon appears above Venus on the 21st, then directly above Jupiter the following morning. 